Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. Lately we're talking a lot about Kriya Satira, who is uh, suitable to become a Balkaira, to be a Balkaira, how one prepares before he lanes, etc. This time of the year we have a lot of Kriya Satira, a lot of important ones. We have the Dalit Parshias, Parsha Zohar, which is Lareva Paisikim Minatira. And, and then we have Kriya Samagila, and then we move on to the Yom Tov Pesach, where there's a lot of Kriya Satayra. Um We find something very unique. You find that uh, there are people who, you know, on a regular minion, you might not find them. You might not find them. They don't put the extra effort to come to a Mincha Mayriv, or even a Shachris. Uh, but if it's Monday and Thursday... And uh, it's Kriya Satira. Oh, they'll show up for Kriya Satira. Where is that from? What, 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 why, why is there this urgency or this uh, taiva, if I may, may say, or this zahirus to make sure to be by Kriya Satira? So one of the Rishonim writes that if you calculate how many times you have Kriya Satira during the year, you'll come up to the number of Reish Mem Ches. There are 248 times that there is Kriya Satira during the year in Shabbos. And uh, uh, in, in many Svarim, they go through exactly how you come up to 100, uh, 248. What's, the, what's special about Ramach, Reish Memches? It's symbolic to the Ramach Evarim, the 240 limbs a, a, Adam, a man has. Uvachain. Each one, each Kriya Satira, each time you attend a Torah reading, a Torah session, it is a cure or it is a refua, it is a Yeshua for that specific limb that's for that day. So consciously or not, uh, not knowing why, people have this draw that they come to Kriya Satira and Baruch Hashem that gives them health and refua for the Ramach Evarim. That's what it says in one of the Rishonim. Specifically this time, we, we, I'm going to talk about two Kriyas. Kriya the Torah on Tainus Esther, which we read Parshas Vayechal, we read the Vayechal Moshe, and the Kriya Samagila, which we do on Purim, two, two Halachas, which are very similar. We find that in the Kriya of Tainus Sibur, there are psukim that the chasm pauses and the, the, the call says out loud. And the same we find by the Megillah, that there are certain psukim that the chasm pauses and the community, the Sibur says it out loud and then the chasm repeats it. Now, actually, the minig, how it should be done, it's, it's brought in far in different ways. Either you say it word, per, word after word after, after the chasm, or the chazan stops and waits for the community to say to call to say it, and then he says it. That it says in Svarim different minhagim how it's done. But the question is asked: What is so special about these couple of psukim, which each individual says it out loud? And this question is brought in many places. So much so, even in today's Svarim, I saw in one of the psukim of today, he says that he's not sure. Uh, obviously that when it's done by Rabbim, it's read, the Megillah is read in the shul, and there's ten people, a hundred people, obviously this has to be done, because that's mentioned in Paiskim. How about, he's, he says, I'm not sure if you're reading the Megillah one-on-one for two people, and you don't have Roy Vam, he says he's not sure if it has to be done by Karl Rum. But let's see what the Mepharshim say. Why is... Why are those certain psukim in the tiny sibur uh, read loud, and, the, and each everybody in the community reads it out loud, and 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 so too by the Megillah Sester there are certain psukim which the call says out loud, which you don't find by any other parsha, you don't find in the typical Kriya Satera. So it's actually brought from the Machzer Vitri that he says that the reading out loud. Of the psukim during the Megillah, Enoi Elo Bishvil Tinoikus. That's all for the children. And we'll soon explain what it means. Avu Mikrois Shel Yud Gimel Midas. 
However, what you say out loud during the Kriya of Tainus, the Kriya of the Tainus, we say the, the Yud Gimel Mila Sarachman, the 13 attributes of, of Rachmanis that Hashem has. Hashem, Hashem, Kel Rachum, and you say V'salachta Laveneinu, by a Tainus Sibur, it's Minig Kasherhu. That is, that, that is a special Minig, a good Minig, Lefi Shehem Divreit Chnunim V'rachmim. Because obviously you're trying to tap in and you're trying to show how the Eibishter is so compassionate, the Eibishter is so great. So that's, that's a request, that's like a, a form of davening. But the psukim that we say out loud by the Megillah, he says, ela bishvil It's a kinder spiel. He makes it sound like it's a kinder spiel. The Machs of Vitri says, Ela simchas It's to make them more happy, get them more excited. In the Shibalei Haleket, he says it a little different. He says that you're making the kids happy. It's not just a typical sound going through the whole 20 minutes, 45 minutes, or whatever, reading the Megillah. Because by giving these pauses and making a, a Pasuk different, Bira'oisam shinu kazeh. When the children see a difference, shayelim mazeh. They ask, what's going on? And because they're asking questions, you're able to respond. Oh, this is what happened. The Megillah is talking about the story of, of Haman and how the Abish just saves us. So it's a lead. It's a lead-up question. It's a situation where we're getting the kids, the children, interested in the story of the Megillah by just not dragging out the same tune. Just get the kids more interested. Or, it's brought in the Hagoas Maimonis, just a very practical, uh, very practical uh, answer. If you have the same tone and the same uh, dragged out, uh, wor- dragged out words for a little kid. He's not going to be tuned into the Megillah. So we make these pauses. But it's more to get the kids involved in the story and, on this, and having a feeling for the Megillah. Which psukim do we, uh, do we stop? Does the chazan stop and each one says it out loud? So we know that the number four happens to be, it looks like it's very symbolic. There is the Dalad Kaisis that we drink on Pesach for over here we also have four psukim. Four psukim. Why these four psukim? Because they are more, uh, it's more, you see the potent of the, you see how ne- the nest was very potent. That's what the Mepharshim say. However, I just want to make you aware, a very interesting thing. It's brought that the Nusach Taimon, the Svardim, some of uh, the Nusach Taimon, uh, they bring that there are actually five psukim by them that the chazan slows down, and the chazan, word after word, the, the call says it with the chazan. And the five psukim are Ish Yehudi, Vayislu Asahamon, Umartcha Yatsa Melefnei HaMelech, La Yehudim Haisa Eira Vesimcha, and Kimartcha Yehudi. They have one more psukim. And the question was asked by one of the Svardish Shagdailim of the generation, and, and, he, and, and why these five sukim? So he says that these five sukim are mechuvan, correspond, chamisha chum sheitaira. Each one is symbolic for, uh, to correspond to one of the chumashim. And he goes like this, Ish Yehudi is saying the yichus, the Pasuk of Ish Yehudi is saying the lineage of, 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 uh, of Mordechai, where he comes from. That is, Parshish, that's Chumash Barashis, where it talks about uh, the creation of the world, how the Yidden uh, became about where, where we come from. Um, the next one, the next Pasuk is Vayislu as Haman, which talks about the falling of the Jewish enemy, and what he thought, Haman thought, he's, he's, he's preparing, God forbid, 
to hurt Klau Yisrael, to hurt Mordechai, turns around and he gets his punishment, that's corresponding Sefer Shmois, where it talks about the Mitzrayim falling. The Egyptians, they did so, so bad to us, and they said, and they got thrown into the Yamsuf. So the second Pasuk corresponds Shmois. The third Pasuk, who Martcha Yatza, and Martcha came out with those fancy garments, that's corresponding the third Sefer, which is Sefer Vayikra, because over there it talks about the big Dekuna and the Koyanim, how they did the service. The Pasuk of Layehudim Haisa Eir of Simcha corresponds Chumash Bamidbar, because in Chumash Bamidbar, we talk about Eir of Simcha, Bahaloischa Sanerais. And the last, and the Yom Simchaschem of Moyedechem. And the last Pasuk, Yimardchai Ayyehudim, Yimishna Lamelech, which talks about how great Mardchai was and how he was respected and how he was accepted by Rav Echov, that is corresponding Chumash, Shemai, Chumash Devarim, which talks about Ashroi Shel Asher. And over there it says, Yehei Ratzui Echov. So we see that it is a special Psuke Geula. We see that everybody, even the, we do special effort that even the children should be involved. And Shetakabi, Laihudim Haisa Eira, Vesimcha, Vesasim Vikar, Kain Tialanu.